in Israel. Thou seekest to destroy a city and a mother in Israel. Why wilt thou swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? And Joab answered and said, Far be it far from far be it from me that I should swallow up or destroy. The matter is not so, but a man of Mount Ephraim, Sheba the son of Bichri by name, has lifted up his hand against the king, even against David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. And the woman said unto Joab, Behold, his head shall be thrown to thee over the wall. And the woman went out uh, unto all the people in her wisdom, and they cut off the head of Sheba, the son of Bichri, and cast it out to Joab. And he blew a trumpet, and they retired from the city, every man from his tent. And Joab returned to Jerusalem unto the king. Now Joab was over all the host of Israel, and Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and Adoram was over the tribute, and Jehoshaphat, the son of Ehihud, was recorder, and Sheba was scribe, and Zadok and Abiathar were the priests, and Ira, the, also the Jairite, was ruler about David. Second Samuel chapter 21. Then there was a famine. Mm -hmm. Do you want to finish the time Samuel, or do you want him to take it from there? Oh, good yeah. talk. Okay. Yeah. Take it in there, Mike. You're up, dude. Okay. 21. 21. Second Samuel. 21. Then there was a famine in the days of David three years. Year after year, David inquired of the Lord. You know what? Lord answered, It is for Saul before his bloody house because he slew the Gibeonites. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. And the children of Israel had sworn unto them, and Saul sought to slay them in his zeal to the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, what shall I do for you, and wherewith shall I make the atonement, that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? And the Gibeonites said unto him, We will have no silver, nor gold of Saul, nor of his house, neither for us shalt thou kill any man in Israel. And he said, What ye shall say, that will I do for you. And they answered the king, the man that consumed us, and that divide against us that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the coasts of Israel. Let seven men of his sons be delivered unto us, and we will hang them up unto the Lord in Gibeah of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will give them. But the king spared with Bilashah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, because the Lord's oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of of Saul. But the king took the two sons of Uriah, Rizpah, the daughter of Ai, whom she bare unto Saul, Armani, and Mephibosheth, and the five sons of Michal, the daughter of Saul, whom she brought up for Adriel, the son of Barzillai, the Mahalothite. And he delivered them into the hands of the Gibeonites, and they hanged them in the hill before the Lord, and they fell all seven together, and were put to death in the days of harvest, in the first days, in the beginning of barley harvest. And Rizpah, the daughter of Ai, took the sackcloth and spread it for her upon the rock, from the beginning of harvest until water dropped upon them, out, upon them out of the heaven, and suffered neither the birds of the air to rest on them by the day, nor the beasts of the field by night. It was told David, what Rizpah, the daughter of Ai, the concubine of Saul, had done. And David went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan, his son, from the men of Jabesh Gilead, which had stolen them from the street of Bethshine, where the Philistines had hanged them. When the Philistines had slain Saul and Gilboa, he brought up from thence the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan, his son and the bones of them that were hanged. And the bones of Saul and Jonathan, his son, buried they in the country of Benjamin and Zalah, in the sepulcher of Kish, his father. And they performed all that the king had commanded, and after that God was entreated for the land. Moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel. David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines. 
and David Wax Payne. And it's my Benob, which was of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear weighed 300 shekels of brass and weight. He being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain, slain David. But Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, took over to him and smote the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. And it came to pass after this that there was again a battle with the Philistines at Job. At Job. Then Zabichah, the Pushathite, slew the staff, which was of the sons of the giant. And there was again a battle in Job with the Philistines where Elhanan, the son of Jeroboam, a Bethlehem.